right, uh, who wants to start it off? Welcome to Acquired Taste. <laughs> I Sweet. immediately yelled. He's in I here. Am, I am figure eight. You're, 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 you're Captain Kirk. You're Captain Dirt. With me is... Your boy, Coda B, joined with... As always, I'm Andrew. Yeah, he's never not Andrew. Never. He's never... Uh, He's well, consistently that's not true. Andrew. He was raw geese for a moment, and he's blossom in my phone. So, he is not Andrew sometimes. Sometimes, I how guess. How you guys? How you guys doing? How was your weeks? Good, not too bad. I I enjoyed the album I listened to today, so I'm ready. How long was it? Mine was only 14 songs, and oh man, the songs were only about uh, two minutes 30 to three minutes 30 max. Nice. Yeah. Nice. How about you, Fig? I love that for you. In the news. <laughs> yeah, what do we got in the news? In the news this week, Andrew, you want to talk about it? Do you want to spit something off? Sure. So the first thing we've got is that uh, Datpiff archives have been lost. I know, like, not too long ago they were, like, I don't know, remember exactly what it was, but they were harder to find. It was, like, basically, like, the site was, was dying. Um, but within the last couple of days, I think that's when I saw this Reddit post, um, they're pretty much officially gone, which is definitely a bummer. I feel like there's definitely a um, era of of music where Datpiff is like iconic, and like lots of mixtapes have been released on uh, Datpiff over the years. And so knowing that, you know, all, always some of those like the very popular ones, like you're always going to be able to find No Ceilings um, by Lil Wayne. But there's definitely some like hidden gems on Datpiff yeah, that you, are just going to go away. You ever use Datpiff? Yep. I never, I never was on that piff. That but means uh, there's a couple of tapes of mine that are, they are gone now. I was on, I was also on Bandcamp when I started, Bandcamp and SoundCloud. I saw somebody comment on that post and say uh, something like, "There's always going to be those big, big projects because people downloaded them, but mm-hmm. there's a lot of stuff that had listeners or could have been discovered that is now gone because people didn't think to download it because nobody thinks they need to." um spe- like niche stuff specifically but yeah that's just gone it, it, i had a moment reading that where i was like wow i, I mean i i wasn't proud of nor did i go back and listen to the stuff i had on there it's very very old yeah but knowing that it is now lost uh lost in time it, 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 i had a moment yeah you know? it's, it's a piece of history you know just goes down in the, the 50 years of rap history that's one of the one of the fucking top things up there that i i remember I never personally used it, but I remember a lot l- finding a lot of things on there that were, you know, little leaks or little just. It was a burnt archives. CD era. It's like um, it's like the other one. What is it? Uh, Napster or what's the what's the other one that people used to use? LimeWire or what the fuck Lime, is it called? Well, the, yeah, LimeWire is where you, you used music. to download music and give your family computer viruses so that you could have sweet <laughs> albums on your iPod Touch. Yeah, it goes up there. You guys had iPod Touches. <laughs> I had like I had the, iP- the fourth gen. I had like seven iPod touches because I kept breaking them, and then I would save up and buy a new one and accidentally break it, and then like I would just drop it had, in the sink on accident sometimes. I had a shuffle. That's what I recorded my first ever song on was a was an iPod fourth gen when you could still use like band uh band not band lab fucking garage band rock band. <laughs> rock band. I had like <laughs> that's where it started. I had an iPod video or something that was like. I don't know, half an inch thick, and I think it was, like, 20 gigabytes or something, which at the time was just, like, an obscene amount of space. Insane. (laughs) Like, there was, it was, like, you'd be, like, oh, you're never gonna fill that. Like, you could listen to every song ever, and it won't be filled, and now you're just, like, well, no, not, not. How how greedy we've become. Yep. What else we got? Um, there's that Young Dolph's murder was, murderer was found, uh, guilty i didn't really see this article or anything like that so maybe if one of you wants to kind of lead this discussion there but yeah the pretty much since the beginning i like they arrested a guy so quick and if if they get a warrant to go into your house and arrest you that quick they got a lot they got a lot i mean it was in broad daylight at like a donut shop it wasn't it wasn't a lot of uh there wasn't a lot of mystery there i'm pretty sure they got the license plate but uh the it it is nice it is it's not a lot recently have been it had gotten justice a lot of hip-hop death 
doesn't uh, it goes un unhelped. Crazy that Tupac and Biggie might go <laughs> get some justice seventy five hundred years later. <laughs> yeah, forty two decades later. We can't talk about Diddy. He still might get out, and he's gonna look for everything that mentioned him. <laughs> yeah, he'll um, come and murder us personally. <laughs> no, but I, I I really liked Young Dolph, so it was it was nice to see his family get some some closure. Definitely. Some time. Yeah. yeah. What's then, going on with this Offset and Cardi drama? Oh boy, <laughs> it's awesome. They're uh, so messy. Like, when, when did they did they file for divorce prior to the announcement of the new kid? I don't know what which time. This time, <laughs> this I mean, current time because they're they are divorced now. But yeah, I don't I, know. I think I don't know how the timeline the goes for sure, but but now. I, I don't know. Cardi B went live about something, and Offset commented about how she got fucked while pregnant, and Cardi B essentially responded with she was faithful for seven years while he cheated, and then the second they got divorced, she did her thing. Yeah. Which I think is crazy, because he for sure cheated on her while she was pregnant all of those times. This is the, you know. The equivalent. Yeah. Except they were divorced. I don't. I don't. Or know. yeah, I guess it's not the. Yeah, yeah. It's just so public and so wild that it's it's hard to believe. Well, and <laughs> the it's, the the text message that she posted is, is crazy. crazy. <laughs> it's fucking insane. Pull that up. Coda's got to read this. See if <laughs> yeah, you can pull I'm, that up. It is. I'm uh, behind on this this drama here, but we try not to be TMZ, bro. But it's man, is this one funny? We can become TMZ for the first 10 minutes of the podcast. I don't care. Dude, I'll gladly become TMZ. Is that it? Uh, Let it no, be No, this it, is bro. from 2022. Here we go. It's this one. It <laughs> says... Wait, hold up. Okay. You don't want me? Not really. Okay, you want somebody else? Offset and please. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Please have a good night. I just wanted you to know, can I jack d- jack off with you on the phone? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, bro crashed out. Bro's bro. down horrendous. Yeah, down horrendous. bad. Holy God, man. Shit. I I don't I can't imagine being that high of a status, being like, can I jack can I off jack off with you on the phone? phone? Oh. That's, uh, <laughs> Oh, that's love right there. That- <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's in a hotel room in Oklahoma City asking that. <laughs> oh, God. In his fucking jammies. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> when you're that rich, you wear jammies, bro. He was sitting in some jammies. Oh, that's fucking insane. <laughs> that is crazy. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so off, had, Offset's week's been rough Yeah he's had a week um, poor, poor fella I, I don't think we need to talk about that anymore No that, that we, says it all this, I Can I we, jack off with you on the phone is that's, insane <laughs> Next next. We gotta clip this out yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is the clip This is the clip Oh my soul uh, That's funny So we on artist ranking now yeah. Is that, is, that, is that what's next on the agenda? I'm happy about this because last, uh, I think it was last last recording, I got Outcast album, uh, Aquem and I. So now we're doing the, the rankings. I'm not going to be like too informed on all Aquim of their and albums. Aquem is number one. That's, that's, that's up there. That's <laughs> number up, one pull already. Pull up the list, Sandy. Jarvis, pull up the list. <laughs> I'm going to just, you know, I'm going to just... Coda, this is an A plus podcast. You're killing it, dude. I love this podcast. This is no, my. You're killing it. This episode, I mean, like you're. This is this is a good performance from you. I wake up and I think about this podcast and all the taste buds. <laughs> and how, man, thank y'all. Our last episode that came out did God, super dude. well. Yeah, real shit. YouTube. That was that was, was awesome. that was awesome to see the immediate um, response to that one. That was cool. Man, it's not a lot, but every every little 
person, not little person, but well, e- <laughs> and every li- and every little Holy you're included. Shit, Coda. Fuck, I meant every every little stream and person we get to watch it is is huge for us, even, even if it's not crazy. Even little people's listens, especially are just little as people, big as everyone else's. Listens. God damn it! I fucked this up. No, this list Coda, feels like the, I, the official six, it. right? Jarvis, right? cut that. Yeah. Out. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And so th- so they Idlewild's not going to be on anybody's list, right? Okay. Yeah. So I know, I know Stankonia. Yeah, get that. All right, all right. Who, I'm, I want to go first. Yeah, please. All right, run it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go first. I'm going Stankonia at number one. Number one. I'm going Equimini at number two. I'm going Speaker Box Love Below, at number three. I'm putting AT Aliens at number four, and then Southern Playlist of Cadillac Music at number five. I'm doing that. I and like I want to just say, I want to just say, the whole world on their Greatest Hits album is fucking excellent. It that, won a yeah. Grammy for a reason. Shout out Killer Mike. That's, that's cool, too, and I feel like that's common, but on a Greatest Hits Not album to, to have a new... Well, I mean, Greatest Hits albums, I feel like it's just deluxe tracks now. There's not... I feel like artists haven't done that recently. I, I guess Eminem did just do one, and there was two new songs on it. So like the the, the older artists who do do them, they do throw an old song. Yeah. I'm curious to actually see this generation of greatest hits albums. Like what artists what, from the early yeah. 2000s are gonna do that? All right, All right, I'll I'll go second. I'm gonna say Aquimanian number one, Stankonia number two. Um, I'll put AT Aliens number three. Speaker. He said that like it was a chore. Well, because then I, I'm not sure if it's Speaker Box or Love Below in three, but I'll put Speaker Box slash the Love Below in four, Italians three, and Southern Playlist at Cadillac Music in five. All right. They were so young. There's like two songs from that. Yeah, I mean, that, it's like, like go back to. it's still it's good. Fine. It's still very yeah. good. I it's had the just, CD in my car for a bit. Yeah, it, they're young, and then, you know, I feel like there's definitely a level of growth just from each album, you know? Oh, yeah. Like, you can just hear them develop their sound and kind of grow with the albums as they go. All right, Coda B. All right. Mine is, like I said, I'm, I'm just, I'm I'm winging it here. I know Stankonia and Aquamini because they're fresh on my mind. Is, uh, okay. Speaker Box Love Below has, like, Hey Ya and I Like the Way. And okay roses yeah roses yeah stuff like so that. it'd probably be i'm I, like i like fix that i'm putting a quemini one i'll put uh stankonia two um and that was their first album you said uh southern playlist cadillac southern music. play yeah yeah okay southern so, southern playlist cadillac music three whoa i like that let's go um speaker box four and uh, at the ends, uh, five. Just because, you know, we're winging it here. That's what we do on this podcast. Hey, you had a different list. Me and Andrew, I guess all of our lists were pretty different, honestly. Pretty, pretty different, but I feel like the same, like, core. Well, I guess Coda. At least for you and me, I feel like. He still had Stankonia and Equimini in one and two. That was yeah, all of us. There was much. sort of, like, the same common themes, I guess. Out of Wild is yeah, what, fine. There's like one song on here that I listen to. Is it the one with Lil Wayne and Snoop Dogg? Yeah, which is great to be fair. Yeah, it's a pretty good song. I like that one. But yeah, the movie wasn't great. But yeah, I don't even. I've haven't seen the movie of it. I just know the album. I knew it was based or written for a movie or whatever. But uh, I don't know. It's fun. It's fun to watch both of them act. In They're both in it. Yeah. And like Ti, a few other people, I'm pretty sure. Um, no, but it's 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 cool to watch. It's yeah. but it's nothing. It's nothing spectacular. I I might look on it more fondly now that they've been apart for so long. Yeah, I haven't listened Men- to that album as a album in years. Like I said, it's it's Hollywood Divorce is the song with Lil Wayne and Snoop, and then oh, everybody has a great verse on that. I feel like, and so I I have that song in some different playlists and stuff, but. Maybe we should watch, uh, we should do a week where we assign three hip-hop movies. Oh, that'd be sick. Three albums. Yeah. Like, Eight Mile, Ida Wild. We should Stories, absolutely do that. Straight out of Compton. We should all pick one that we haven't seen. 
Yeah, um, that'd I've be... seen probably most of like the hip hop. We'll movies, find one you fucking have. But then, I no, I, I was gonna say <laughs> I know there's one that I that I for sure haven't well, seen. Like I'm. We'll we'll assign whichever one's. The oh, one actually. To fig. Is what is is Boys in the Hood a, no. a hip hop movie or is it just have people? It just has hip hop people. Okay. Like hip hop. Uh, okay, I was gonna say because I haven't seen that. And everyone's saying that's a great movie. Oh I yeah, need you need to watch it. Watch that. So maybe I'll I'll, I'll just do that. We just could for even, fun. We could live stream <laughs> while we watch the movies. That'd be fun. Yeah, just in the Discord. Join the Discord. <laughs> We're not gonna link it. You have to find it. Yeah, taste a bud. Go to our Patreon. All right. Um, that was fun. I love Outcast. Yeah, yeah, great. no, great is, stuff. I mean, obvious. Like, if you're gonna say hip hop duo, they're easily the number one duo. But even just hip hop groups, they're top oh, really, three. Yeah, I gotta say, probably. I love listening to their music, and especially when I sit down to listen to their music, or even just the album of the week. You know, I need to smoke and get in the mood. So that's why I've been using King Palm Blunt Refs. Like, they have an abundance of exciting flavors, including honey mango. Watermelon Wave and Pink Lemonade. So, if you want to go to King Palm and use code KP Taste, that is K P T A S T, to get twenty percent discount. There's great products. It's a great company, and it supports our podcast. So, come on, what what are you doing here? <laughs> All right, but yeah, no, that was just album off, club off the top of my head. <laughs> I was just, I felt like you guys deserved to know that. That literally knocked the wind out of me. I felt like I got punched. <laughs> you guys were laughing. I could see Andrew just fucking dying. I just, uh, yeah, you can't laugh through an ad read. No, absolutely not. And we're and not you're laughing so because. so good at them. Dude, thank you, man. <laughs> Album Club, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. What? Uh, okay. Who, who wants to go first? Andrew. Andrew, get that. I'll go first. All right. This oh, week. It's, it's, it's supposed to be me. I, just, I looked at the wrong list. <laughs> figs no go first i can go first i can go <laughs> okay first. okay i had a uh, certified hip maker by lil mosey and uh i'll just start out by saying like recently i feel like even in general i just haven't been listening to music as much and i feel like even songs i like and albums i like i'm just like i'm not in the mood for this right now so it's i don't know i'm in a, like a i haven't been enjoying or listening to music a ton the last couple weeks uh but I didn't finish this. I tried starting it two different times and just it wasn't wasn't hitting. I didn't think it was that good. Um, he said wasn't hitting. It's okay. So well, you, got, you got Lil Mosey, right? Yeah. And yeah. like the yeah. song checks out. I just kept getting to a certain like I don't even know what song I kind of like trailed off at, but I just kept getting to a certain point. It was just like ah, I'm not in the mood to listen to this. I'm not enjoying it. It just felt it felt super repetitive and like very very like and and maybe this isn't the right word to use but very like sound cloudy rapper and just like no that's accurate you know just (laughs) what was the album certified hit maker it just seemed like every every bar was either like oh like i'm i'm sipping lean or i'm popping pills or i'm fucking your bitch or like my car is a uh push to start like it just felt like recycled lines that we hear a lot of and so it just i don't know it wasn't wasn't for me i've added it to my you know music and maybe if it comes up on shuffle or something again i'll check it out but it wasn't for me and so for that reason i think i'm gonna say like four coda b's our lowest score yet i love that that's what we get with the themed episodes instead of just picking great albums for each other this is way better yeah and i will say like i will say that with like the caveat of like i said like i haven't really been enjoying music the last couple weeks like i don't know if you guys ever go through periods of that where it's just like yeah oh absolutely i I honestly hardly listen to music until this podcast and then i get recommended great shit and then i do listen to it yeah like and i feel like that's cool like to find stuff you know sometimes stuff's not for you but it was that i just struggled to get through this and just couldn't yeah there's like two Lil mosey songs that i like go back to it's like blueberry fago yeah that's that's the main one early on with early, early on sure in the album uh gunna has got a feature that's kind of cool like i didn't hate it but that, <laughs> that was like the standout moment for me of the with somebody else yeah yeah he so. kind of just He's one of those guys that everyone's like, he had one hit and kind of fell off. 
So it makes sense that you don't necessarily like the album. I I only know of Blueberry Fago, and even that one is like overplayed. So yeah, yeah a four is I would I respect a four. Well, that, that's, that's that's pretty. That's the Seattle album for Seattle Andrew. Yeah, well, Seattle, step it the fuck up. Where you at, Macklemore? Where <laughs> the fuck you at? Um, Coda from the, the the Portland album. Yeah, so I got the Portland album, um, Limbo by Amine. I've been a fan actually of Amine for since like middle school when you know I think the first song I heard from him was Caroline. Which, middle school is crazy. Which might have been the. It's not that crazy. It's crazy. It's not. It's not that crazy. I'm young. <laughs> you guys are old fucks. Okay. It's not that crazy. It's not that crazy, but I I remember listening to his, not knowing that he was from Portland either, just hearing the song blow up. Um, Limbo was great, though, because there's a lot of um, songs in the videos. He um, He's in Portland. He So there's Woodlawn, which is one of my favorite, where he's at the, I think, the Timber Timberlake uh stadium or timber yeah. whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever the soccer stadium is he's he's out there there's there's clips of him in front of the the portland sign there's there's clips of him like um like at mike's drive-in or some shit like that which is cool um let's see let me pull my notes up so my favorite songs on there were woodlawn obviously that one's just a, a great listen roots because it features my boy jid j-i-d which was cool. I, I I hadn't heard that one before, and I didn't know that he was even linked up with him, so that was cool. And then Can't Decide, which is a very melodic kind of song. With, with I liked his vocals on there. But yeah, it's overall it's a good album. Uh, there's there's some on there that I've already heard before, but I'd give it. I think it's pretty solid. I'll, I'll give it like a like a ten, ten out of thirteen. I think it's I think it's good. I think it's very listenable. Ten out of thirteen, go to bees. Yeah, no, it's good. Not to glaze this guy Amine, but <laughs> it's it's a good album. Like, what do you, what am I gonna say? You're, Coda B, you are killing it today. I'm solidly entertained, dude. Thanks, man. He's, All right, it's I, been it's been a it's been a, a good week. I had a super short album, only 28 songs. Um, I had the Detroit album Megatron 2 by Baby Tron. Sweet. And we've been you know we've been hyping up Baby Tron. I gotta say it's. It's way too fucking long. Yep. Like, it's for sure too fucking long. Like, fuck, it's too fucking long. But there's not, like, a single song that I I didn't like. They There were a lot that weren't, like, exemplary for sure. But every single bar for 28 songs was a bar. Every single bar. Bro, your mom's butt smells like feet and her feet smell like butt. Bar. There, There's a part in one of the songs where he just goes... The chopper go, and the glit goes, and the car goes, like it's the audacity of it is is incredible to listen to, um, and there's so many Michigan bars, like there's so much Michigan throughout it, like there's just such a pride in in the state, which I appreciate and I'm for sure biased to, but it's it was a lot of fun. IRL with BOP Kosher is fucking awesome. There's a song with uh, Soldier Boy and Riff Raff, which I thought was tight because we opened for both of them last year. We got to talk to both of those dudes and to see them on. You know, Baby Tron's not enormous. He's for sure climbing up pretty quickly, I would say, but he he's not comparable to a lot of the albums we've reviewed on 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 the pod. But yeah, it was it was really really good there was a lot of super funny songs um the last song was really cool too it, it had a, a bit of a more serious tone but I, I swear he can't say a single line that's not a punchline or a metaphor no he's some, incapable he's incapable of it like it's yeah super entertaining i can't I, i'm gonna have to go through to like actually pull song titles it was so so much but i'll i'll, I'll send you guys some of the maybe the funniest songs you will hear this year I don't know yeah, if it's absolutely. on the album, but you had sent me the uh, Lil Yachty, Baby Tron, and J.I.D. No, song. it came on after the album. Okay. It came, it, like, right when the album finished, that started, and I was like, what is this? That song's great. That was so good. Just Yachty, J.I.D., and this motherfucker Tron. It was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with nine Coda Bs out of 13 Coda Bs. If he could have shaved 
eight songs off of here. I think this could have been like an incredible album, but I'm going to have to like do research to find out which of those songs I liked. So the fact that it's homework, you lose a couple points, but yeah, a, a solid nine Coda B's, I think out of 13. Hell yeah. So that's uh that's Portland, Seattle and Detroit for you next time. Maybe we'll, we'll switch it up. Maybe I'll do cool nuts for Portland next or something, or, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. If we do this again, we'll have to switch cities. That was fun. We'll have to do, maybe we'll, yeah, we'll we pick another cities. random three cities. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, yeah, that'd be. I cool. like that. We got to keep theme in episodes, and, and for next week's podcast, if you'd like to keep up with us, we're doing uh, another interview, which we're gonna try and cycle in once once a month here. Um, next next week we have Dub Dynamite, uh, a, a member of the Fish, a Portland artist. Coda has Heart of a Leo. I have Bars and Slaps, and Andrew has Black Gun Two. So we're gonna be checking out those albums reviewing them and talking to dub for a little bit uh, if you want to listen ahead of time to to either agree or disagree with us while you listen next week go do that please we need some disagreement we need discussion we need we need beef we need controversy it stirs up excitement all we, right we, we got to give the people what they need <laughs> absolutely <laughs> and what they need is debate Fuck two. Po- I'm just kidding. Um, God damn. <laughs> we don't need that kind of debate. Oh, did you guys see about the the? There's like some. God man, I hate to bring up this guy Diddy again. But there's been <laughs> so much Diddy shit, bro. Like every famous person has been Do you, diddled. Have you have Have you had baby oil in your house in large quantities from Costco before? No, I haven't. Hmm. Dude, there's a but, Costco uh, right down the street though. Like. There is a Costco right down the street. We're there every week, bro. Not for the baby amount oil. of baby oil you could get is insane if you think I about like it. Like the Costco came out and said we don't sell baby oil. Like not that's not <laughs> us. Nope. Diddy that's does not crazy. shop here. We are not affiliated with the diddler. I'll affiliate you with a diddle. Dang. Why did you bring this up? Because we were I so close Tupac, to the end. I heard no more Diddy. There's so much stuff. It yeah, just, blame me. I heard there's just people. Everyone's getting diddled, and I'm. If you've been, if you've been diddled, call call one eight five 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 antelope. That's one. And five. use discount KP taste <laughs> at King Palm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Fuck. Oh my god. Coda. <laughs> Leave some entertainment for me and Andrew. Let's let's fucking get into the disgust, baby. Oh what? wait, no, we got a fish song. Fish song, my bad. I jumped ahead. Fish song. We got a fish song. So the fish song now is backboard. Oh, wait, beat. that's last week. Okay, I was gonna say I was like I feel like we did that one. We're okay. Extra. Okay, this is. I told Fig a while ago. This is one of my favorite songs with him in Makes Waves, and also one of the ones before I was really into the group that I listened to that I love this one a lot. So let's play that right now. Extra, extra read all about me. I was in the street with police cars around me. Yeah, I love the bitch, but she sucked the county. I could make the bell like sea stars were sounding. Eat her, eat her, fidget on your speakers. We was in the club, I wasn't checking out feet. When and we're she back. back it up, I really <laughs> like the way the what a fucking banger. All right, uh, what a Fig, you want to speak a little bit about how this song came into fruition? Um, I'm pretty sure Makes Wave sent me this and Mushroom Tea were already done. Just the second verses were open. And I sent this one back first. I feel like it was COVID, so we were just all kind of sending songs around so we could keep making music. Um, but yeah, I love that song. I, lo- I love yeah. the hell out of that song. Mushroom Tea is a, is a slap, too. But yeah, Extra is cool. I like the... Uh... Fucking makes waves, man. He's <laughs> fucking he's, makes waves, man. He's one of the most talented producers, in my opinion, in our group. Just the way he his style is very unique. Like every time I hear one of his beats, I know it's a makes waves beat. Same with Esam. I know when it's an Esam beat once I hear it. Um, yeah. Same with S and D. Like everyone has their own their own lane. Their panache. Yeah. 
Yeah, but I, Mace Waves is it, he, the like iconic mixture of house and conventional hip hop on yep. a lot of songs. Is it, it keeps us on our toes and keeps us, you know, uh, experimenting. And I, I think we do. Uh, sometimes it turns out really well, and this is one of those. Yeah, like you you listen to the 808s he does too. Like it's very buzzy. Like it's like a very like nice like house kind of. Just like a a good vibe, a good buzz. And he mostly mixes every fish song on one of his beats. Yeah. Um. So he he definitely has created a, a sound and feel. Yeah. Call back to um. This one almost made the fish tank. The first house song I ever did was produced by him. I think we we listened to it on the pod. Yep. I can't R. remember. R.I.P. to speaker knockers. R.I.P. to speaker knockers. He he produced that. He wasn't on it, but I wish he would have been on it. Tank. But that was he mixed that. He did all that himself. Made us sound cool. So yeah. Did you listen to this, Andrew? I did, and I actually hadn't heard this. I feel like I, I had to go find it, and uh, I saw that it was like song ninety-seven when you guys were doing the uh, song a day, and so I feel like in that period, like there was times where I was like, yeah, I just don't have time today, or like would f- skip over a song or what have you. Like I would, I feel like I was definitely trying to listen to most of most of them, but never heard. It was this hit or one. miss too, huh? It was hit or miss. Yeah, <laughs> for a lot of those. Um, but no, it was dope. I, uh, thought both verses on it were dope. The beat was cool. Uh, definitely like a hidden gem, I feel like in the fish catalog. I believe it's on the greatest hits CD that we're going to put out here soon. I'm pretty sure. Right. I think so. Yeah. I think this is, it's on there. It's, it's for sure. One of those ones that we're, we're it deserves consideration at the very least for sure. Yeah, and it still sounds good because there's a lot of songs that old that are good songs that just don't sound right. We weren't confident performing then, or the mix was off, or what have you. But this one still sounds. Uh, it it, I, it comes on in my shuffle sometimes in the car, and it's it's always a fond listen. Yeah. What a verse, too, bro. Come on, B. Good verse by Fig. Come on, B. That could be top. Top 15. He said, extra, extra, read all about it. I was in, in the street with police cars around me. All right, I like up. it. It's a good one. Eat, er, eat, er. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> go listen to the song. I and mean, he, they heard just, just a clip just then. Just a snippet. Go, listen go to the listen full to the thing. thing. Yeah. 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 Anything non-Diddy related to, to generally discuss? Generally discuss. I have, I have a couple music things that aren't hip-hop related. That I figured I we could discuss generally. Sure. The Foo Fighters <laughs> broke oh, yeah, up. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> they are the ch- <laughs> the love child of Dave Grohl broke up the Foo Fighters. That's uh, Crazy. that's wild to me. Me and Coda were talking about how, in the grand scheme of rock and roll scandals, this is like a light, a, a light two. A light to decent two. Yeah, and it's not yeah. like you know, there's not. Nothing I'm not illegal. not defending this guy no, 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 no. by any means. Like you know, he made his mistakes, but he also came up front about it and was like, you know, I fucked up before. It, it didn't get leaked. You know, he. It wasn't illegal mistakes either. Yeah, it's you like know, it was. <laughs> that's just personal shit that happened. So, you know, if that shit, bro, fucking, <laughs> what was it? Uh, Tenacious D. They just broke up <laughs> on fucking political yeah, standpoint. It's crazy. It's, it's crazy like, to see. Uh, I. I like some Foo Fighters songs. I like Dave Grohl enough, but like, it, it's strange to see things empires built over decades just crumble. One mistake, one one sentence, one. Yeah. And Chris Christopherson died today, bro. R.I.P. I saw that too. Yeah. The last Highwayman. Or no, name. Willie Nel- Willie Nelson still 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 kicking. Yeah, bro, it's all that fucking weed, bro. He's a mu- He's he's immortal. <laughs> Chris Christopherson has maybe written the most songs you didn't know were written by an old crusty guy, and has the coolest name ever to ever exist. Chris Christopherson, are you kidding me? What a name! What a fucking name, bro. What his parents went? You're gonna be a winner. <laughs> we're <laughs> fucking. That's awesome. Walking W. Yeah, walking W, bro. And he was in Blade, yep. you know. Yeah, but to speak more about like just be, like if you had your fucking whole life like 
aired out in front of everyone too it's like everyone has mistakes that they're not proud of and shit that happened in your life like i couldn't imagine we going back to dave Grohl being at that position yeah yeah okay sorry <laughs> you're no, good my bad i was just saying like you know like it, it, if you're at that that level in your career and you just had some shit air out it's like fucking i i wouldn't be able to handle that so it's can like, you name two of your friends who have cheated on their girlfriend or wife <laughs> Yeah, okay. Dress too? I okay. See, you who do know I what I'm start saying? with? You know what I'm saying? Like it's not a. Yeah, it's fucked. But it, you know, it, yeah, I'm sad for the music. I'm yeah. sad for for the the loss of the spread of music. Cause like I'm not spending 700 bucks to go see the Foo Fighters, but like I know that that band is that band to a lot of people. So that that stuff makes me sad. Didn't they come out with a movie like, kind of recently? Like within yeah. like the last yeah, there's like a horror movie right a, before a Taylor movie. died. Yeah. there was a horror movie. Oh yeah, I didn't I remember watch that. it, but um, I had something else to generate. I don't remember what it was. Do you guys have anything? Maybe it'll, maybe a little peer. I don't brain. got anything. Oh, do you know who Frankie Valley is? The name sounds familiar, <laughs> but I don't know why. My vape just said 188% charged. I'm sorry. I'm getting, like, fucking crazy blown up right now. What's happening? Power sorry. surge on the USB port. <laughs> Holy shit. It's still... Go what do I have plugged in? Is it... All right. Just ignore it. <laughs> the computer's Fuck. gonna explode. Wrap up the podcast. Okay. Um... Uh, uh, we'll see you next week. Dub Dynamite episode. Uh, code KP Taste on KingPalm.com. 20% off. Uh, oh my god, it's going to explode. See you guys. See you next time, Taste Buds. Outro music. Say we bye, love Andrew. You guys. Bye, Andrew. Bye, Andrew.